details, but first thing we're going to do first is go to the Lions Club pancake breakfast because it's twice a year. They have it twice a year and it's the best pancakes ever in the world. So we're getting a little bit later start on going to yard sale so we can go eat some really good pancakes because they're good, aren't they good? They're good. They're good. I haven't even really looked to see exactly how many yard sales, but um, I don't think that there's very many. And it's also raining yet again. Springtime in Indiana. It rains. It looks like it could just start pouring down rain at any moment, but that's okay. Because sometimes that means people will stay away from yard sales. So there's always that hope. So, all right, we're going to go eat pancakes and then we'll be back to yard sailing. Honestly, a big deal. So good. So good. The pancakes were great. Um, there's only a couple yard sales because it's raining. So we're going to hit up those and I don't know, hopefully we'll find a few things. We'll see. But today is half price day at Goodwill. So we'll definitely be going to Goodwill after we go to these couple sales. So stay tuned. Rain all day. Okay, just left a yard sale that we actually were at a couple weeks ago. Great condition, it's Napco wear, and I have the little juice cups that go with it at the shop, so I was pretty excited about that. So, on to the next one. Nasty, nasty day. Oh, I know it. You did, and, and there's not very many of them today either, which is unfortunate. It's got the lowercase f. Yep, the lowercase f is a good f, or it means it's old. <laughs> The man stuff. I'm going to go, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> going to go to the man He's stuff. How much your mugs and things in this box here? Like this little Starbucks mug. It's got a little chip in it. A little Fiesta guy. Okay, and then the Shawnee has a little, he has a chip in it. Well, I don't know that I want everything that's in it. But you said 50 cents for the mug? And all else fails yet again. Okay, at Goodwill. Look, blue bow duck. There he is again. Okay, I finally managed to get the very last cart. And I picked up some green, green glass for Nesting Haven. I think I'm going to send it to her. Going to run into the St. Vincent thrift store. Now, this is not my most favorite place in the whole wide world because the people in here drive me a little bonkers. But we'll see what they've got in here today. Anyway. Mama. Oh, got a cart, so that's always promising. Green tag clothing is on sale. I'm not sure what the sale is, but it just drives me nuts in here. Crazy. Let's go and look and see what they've got over here. Oh, look at that apples. Oh. I might have to get one of these. 
these just to try them out. And they're pretty cute. But, looky there. Blue bow duck. He's arrived again. It's not $10 for this phone. That's about what I would ask for it in my shop. So that's not going to... Hi guys, it's Misty, the Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. And I also own an antique store here in the town where I live, Bedford, Indiana. So, I went to yard sales this weekend. I went to yard sales on Friday, and I went to yard sales on Saturday. And I think on Friday, I went to two yard sales, and on Saturday, I went to three. They're just not picking up right now. So I'm hoping that here pretty soon it will happen. Typically in my area, after the Highway 50 yard sale, which is in two weeks, it tends to pick up. It tends to pick up so much to where you don't really have to look in the yard sale. You can just drive down the road and you'll see sign after sign after sign, which is what I, I like to do. Um, so the yard sale tracker app does not work very well in my area. So I typically go by social media, Craigslist, and the newspaper online, actually. People still do post in the newspaper here. So uh, those are typically the ways that I find yard sales. Saturday, however, I am going to an auction. So I'm going to be filming there. Uh, so be looking forward to that video too. I mean, I probably will skip the yard sales on Saturday so I can go to the auction. Okay, so I have a haul. Um, also included in this haul are going, since the yard sales were so minimal, uh, is going to be my haul from Half Price Day at Goodwill. I don't know about in your area, but in my area, the first Saturday of every month, the entire store of Goodwill is half price. So I thoroughly enjoy going on Half Price Day. Okay. And I don't know, I'm trying to remember which sales I went to on Friday, which sales I went to on Saturday, but I'm not. I'm just gonna stick with the yard sale haul and then I'll move on with the Goodwill haul. So, uh, first couple things I got at a yard sale are mugs. I love mugs. I love coffee mugs. I have a little collection of mugs and I need to kind of weed through some of them because my display is getting a little out of control. I don't even drink a lot of coffee. I drink coffee every once in a while so i don't know why i love coffee mugs so much but i do so anyway the first one that i got was this cute little owl mug that says happy birthday it is a uh, speckled pottery from the 70s 80s which is very much on trend right now it has this little brown handle and this cute little owl on it it is unmarked on the bottom um, I paid 50 cents for this mug. I'm going to list it on Etsy, probably Etsy and eBay. But these things right now are doing very well on Etsy, the speckled pottery. So I'm going to list this on Etsy. Ideally, I probably will get 12 to $15 out of this guy. All right. I also picked up this Starbucks mug and that mug I washed. This mug I have not washed yet. Also... I don't know if you had seen this. This is not a chip. This is just like a glazing imperfection. Can you kind of see it there where some of the glaze is just missing a little bit there? So it's not a chip. Um, when you're when you're looking at mugs at yard sales, always run your finger along the rim to see if there's any chips. I usually run my finger around the bottom too. The chips on the bottom aren't going to make as big of a difference as the chips on the rim. If they have rim chips on the rim, Unless they're some wackadoo rare mug, I wouldn't buy them because you're not going to sell them if they have damage on them. Trust me. I know. I've tried. Um, this mug I haven't cleaned yet, so it's not, it's just a little dirty on the inside, but it is a Starbucks mug from 2014. I paid 50 cents for this mug as well, too. It's just very, it has this gradient, um, glaze on it which I thought was very pretty so 
Um, I think that I had seen this one and they were selling for about $12 to $15. So um, I will list this on eBay and Mercari. All right, the next thing I found was this beautiful butterfly gold Pyrex. Now I see in my area, I see a lot of mugs, the Pyrex butterfly gold mugs. I haven't really seen a lot of the little creamer here. Now there would be another little bowl that would go with this as well. Um, but, but I didn't see that. I paid a quarter for this and you can see it's Pyrex. You can kind of see there on the bottom. These are selling singly for about 12 to $15 and I will list it on eBay, Mercari and Etsy. It's in great condition too. I just thought it was real cute little spout there. All right. On Friday, I found a little church yard sale and it was ran by the sweetest elderly people. Um, and I, back in the day when my kids were little, before I was reselling, I hated church yard sales because I was always looking for kids clothes. I didn't want the old people stuff. Now, when I go to a church yard sale and I see that it's ran by elderly people, I get so excited because there's good stuff there. And a lot of times they don't know to look up things online. They just sell it. So um, you can find some good things there. So I found these, a set of four of these cute little, I believe that these are, no, they're not marked on the bottom. I thought they were federal a little bit, but they're not. But these cute little juice glasses, they have um, orange and green and that uh, yellow dots on them. There's a set of four. They're in great condition. I've washed them up a little bit. This one's still a little wet for me washing it. Um, I paid 10 cents a piece for these. They were so cute. I probably am going to take these to my antique shop and, and, and sell them there. I have a display of vintage glasses that do pretty well. So I will probably list the set of these for $12, 10 to $12. So I will be taking those to the shop. Okay, and I think I have footage of this um, guy that was in the first part of my video. But this is a NacoWare juice pitcher. And it has the juicer on the top. It's in great condition. Now, this was a sale that I had gone to about, about three weeks ago that was listed as an estate sale. And last Friday, they had it just a yard sale. So I think they were just trying to get rid of some of the things that they didn't sell at the estate sale. And this was still there. Now, the interesting fact about this is that I got the juice glasses pr uh, three weeks ago at the yard, at the estate sale. And the juice glasses, there were only three of them. They're in rough condition, but I, I loved them. And I have them at the shop right now, but I'm going to go ahead and throw them in with this pitcher. I'm going to bring them home from the, from the shop because they're in really rough condition. I just couldn't leave them behind. It was in a lot of things that I bought. I bought just like, I spent $75 on just a big bunch of things and I threw these little cups in, but I'm going to list them with this pitcher. Actually, actually I may just go ahead and get and sell this at the shop with the cups um, and make a little display with it but it's you can see it's napco wear on the bottom and you the thing that's nice about napco wear is that you can look up this number and it'll pull up some comparable listings now this is made in japan uh and it is in great I, there are there's no chips on it whatsoever none and i was shocked because it was in a box so i was so excited about this but Here's a little, it says, good morning. And I believe if I remember right, the glasses said good morning too. And they were just the same. They had little um, oranges and lemons and limes on them. But just the fact that this is still there too, just amazes me that it was just still in, in really great condition. So this I'm going to be, I'll probably put it at the shop first. And if it doesn't sell there for a while, then I'll list it online. Okay. Also at that little uh, churchyard sale that um, was just full of the sweet little older people. I got two sets of these. I'm gonna hold this one up first. This is the, uh, I'm gonna say this wrong, Bel Air. 
Libby Bel Air glasses. Now this one is still uh, in the original packaging. They're, well, they're both still in the original packaging, but that one still has the cellophane on it. And I just don't want to drop these. So you can see there is the design on them. These cute little daisy. Um, they call these, um, what are these called? These are um, like on the rocks, like gin glasses, rocks glasses. Uh, I mean, juice glasses, really. It's what they remind me of. But um, they are brown, this brown frosted. And they ha I bought each of these for 50 cents. So I will list the, well, I probably will list one set online and I'll put the other set in my shop. I'm trying to see. They have the original tag on here. And they originally sold for $4.87 for all of them. So this was probably back in the 70s. I'm trying to see. Yeah, you can see on the bottom here. Actually, this is a pretty good guide here for these Libby glasses. You know, you see these two sizes a lot, a beverage and a cooler glass, but this is the Rocks glasses and they have the Sherbert Champagne. Um, so that's kind of a kind of a neat little guide there. So I looked these up and they were selling for about 17 to $20 um, online. And there were several that were still in the packaging here. So I bought two of them. I thought I would try one online and try selling one in the shop. And for 50 cents a piece, I just, I mean, that I just couldn't, I could not buy them. All right, at that same little yard, church yard sale, I got two latch hook kits. They were 50 cents a piece. And they're that Caron brand or Caron. Is that what I said? Caron, Karen brand. Karen, Caron brand. Anyway, two of them. They've never been open, never been used. They were 50 cents a piece. These are selling for about nine to twelve dollars on eBay. So the nice thing about these is that they're going to be easy to list. So I'll list them and I can put quantity of two. Uh, and so that will be nice and easy to list. All right. The next thing I got at that same churchyard sale is this really cool vintage sewing box. It is made by Max Klein. You can see there on the bottom. And when you open it up, I paid a dollar for this too. It's got the tray insert on the inside and there were some like little buttons and stuff on the inside too. It's very, very nice, very clean. Um, and I got it for a dollar. This I'm going to take to the shop and sell. And I think I had seen these online for about $20. So in the shop though, I probably will put $15 on this. So this will be available in the shop. But it's so cute. And that style is coming back. So same with the macrame and all that kind of stuff. It's all coming back. All right. That's, well, we got this thing from the yard sale. And that's that's all I got from the yard sales this weekend. I mean, it's just those, those things. I didn't pick up any clothing. I didn't pick up any shoes. It was just these hard goods. Which, by the way, I have decided that my yard selling, since I have so many clothes that I still need to list, I'm mainly focusing on hard goods to sell and or vintage t-shirts i'm looking for like vintage single stitch t single stitch t-shirts um and like nascar shirts and things like that that are really popular right now so i'm not focusing a lot on clothing at yard sales um i mean i'm still gonna look at it but i'm going to i'm gonna rein it in and just focus on the hard goods because honestly the hard goods is where i make the majority of my money from selling things online Okay, my husband found this at a yard sale. We paid 50 cents for it, and it is a Garmin Speed Cadence Sensor. I don't, he thinks it has maybe something to do with fishing, or I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, he looked it up, and he paid 50 cents for this, and he said they're selling online for about $40. So this is brand new. It's still taped up there. It's never been used. So um, again, this is going to be something that's going to be easy to list 
and with the season that's you know, people are out fishing and stuff now so we need to get this listed soon so that will be listed this week okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the Goodwill well I went to Goodwill and I went to another little thrift store the thrift store here in town which is St. Vincent and I've you, you've seen the footage it isn't my favorite place now when I say, and I think I mentioned that, saying something in the footage that it wasn't my favorite place in the world because of the people, it's not because of the people that work there. The people that work there are lovely. Um, they're very friendly. It's just, it just seems like there's always chaos in there as far as the other customers that go. There's always kids that are just strapped in their carts, screaming because they want to get out of their carts. Um, people are just, they talk so loud. I don't know. It's just like a sensory overload for me when I go in there. It isn't my favorite place to go into and the parking lot is horrible. There are so many people trying to get in this itty bitty store and there's literally like five parking spaces and people park where you can't get out. Uh, it, it's, it's a mess. It's a hot mess. Uh, so, and I don't always find a lot of good things in there too, but I mean, I actually did find some good things in there this time. But anyway, when I said that I don't like it because of the people, it isn't because the people that work there, they're lovely. It's the shoppers that go in there that kind of drive me a little crazy. All right. I will go ahead and start with that place. Now the hats in there are all 99 cents and that's how much the hats are at Goodwill. Um, but I do, I do fairly well with hats. I have a couple hats that I'm about to the point where I've had them for long enough and I'm going to redonate them because they're just not moving. So I'm going to give these a try. Uh, these were all actually the hats at St. Vincent, I believe are a quarter a piece and not 50 cent or not a dollar. So, um, I got this vintage, here's the tag and this is vintage nineties, but it's just a Mickey mouse, uh, snap that back hat and it says Mickey Mouse on the bottom. I was gonna see if there was a, it's in very clean, good condition. One size fits all, which is usually a testament to the age as well. I'm just trying to see, no, there's no date on here, but it this tag is from the 90s. You can see there, all right, so I got that paid a quarter for that hat. Um, we got this, and I don't know much about baseball, my husband knows, um, this is, I don't even know what team this is, but it is a 5950 size eight. So this is a big sized hat. It's, it's for a big head, um, which is good. And the other ones that I've listed sold very, very fast. So I'm going to say San Francisco, maybe. Anyway, it is a 5950. You can see there it's, clean i don't think it's ever been worn still has the 34 dollar price tag on it um and it's a size eight you can see there and it's just a fitted hat um so quarter for that this one i think this one's vintage i don't know i don't i know that this is the arizona diamondbacks but my husband seems to think that this is a an older logo from them this is also a 5950 hat and um, i am going to wash it it is a little yellowed here um, but it was a quarter, so we'll give that one a try too. And it's also a size eight, which is a bigger size. I was excited about this and this actually does pretty well. Um, I paid a quarter for this and it is a vintage Power Rangers pillowcase. I was trying to think of the word. It's pillowcase. Um, I paid 50 cents for this and it, I saw these, they sell for about nine, 15 to $19 on eBay just for the pillowcase alone. So I was pretty happy about that. I don't think there's a, yeah, there is. It's a 1994 Saban, which I have sold Power Ranger figures for quite a bit of money. They could do pretty well. Power Rangers and Transformers from the 90s. All right, now I kind of paid up for this at that yard sale. And by paying up, I mean it's $5. That to me is a lot to pay at that thrift store but it was five dollars and this is a dream styles 101 dalmatians sheet set and it's new in the package um it's 
I couldn't find, well, I could find some that were listed, but none that were listed brand new in this brand. There was, there were other, the same brand, other characters, and they were selling for over $60, $70. So I went ahead and tried it at $5 to see how it would do. Um, I do have other sheet sets that I need to get listed. I've washed them. They're folded in a tote. I think I have a Snoopy Cabbage Patch, um, Charlie Brown. I have several. And it's ridiculous that I haven't listed it because here I am buying more. So I need to have a sheet listing day. So anyway, I tried those. All right, the next couple things that I got at that St. Vincent thrift store. My husband actually found these. They are size medium. They are Nike. And we paid $3 a piece for these. But they it's Nike Golf, size medium, but it's Corvette. Now, I do believe that... I want to say that this might be a women's polo just because of the cut. You can see the, the seams here going down the side. So I want to say that this might be a women's. It was in the men's section. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit more research on this. But it is a Nike dry fit size medium. Maybe not, though. It just kind of seems to me like the cut of it. But with a Corvette logo, I have sold other Corvette logos I, uh, clothing before and they've done very well he also found this one it's the same thing it is nike golf dry fit size medium a little bit better how the cut is here on the waistline it just seems like a women's cut but maybe it's not here's a tag in here and maybe it'll it'll lead me in the right direction oh this is a camaro sorry you can see camaro they find very, very good vintage sweatshirts and jackets. So I always look through that section first. And I found this is an Indianapolis 500 full zip sweatshirt. Um, with the 500 coming up this month, I'm going to get this listed fast. This is not vintage. I mean, it's just, it's an extra large. But it is from someone bought this going to the Indianapolis 500. And I find Indianapolis 500 things a lot, being that we are in Indiana. So, um, and I've sold things like this very, you know, pretty fast before. So I went ahead and tried it. I think I paid $2 for that because I think those were all marked down. All right. Also found, the only thing that might be kind of hurting this thing is the collaring. It is an Adidas track jacket, but it's brown and orange. So, I don't know. My husband found this. It is a size... 2x so i mean that's the good thing but it's just not a very nice color to wear but maybe in the fall we'll see okay so that is all the things that i got from the saint vincent thrift store and now we're going to go and i want to say that we spent like 25 dollars so now i'm going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the goodwill half price items that we got okay this first thing my dad picked up because he seems to think and we probably do we have some of these at the show well, we have one of these at the shop that needs a mate and it is just this little coca-cola no good grief pepsi cola salt and pepper shaker the these aren't old old i mean they're they these are reproductions they're not like old or anything but pe they, people do collect these it was 99 cents so it was half price so I went ahead and got it because he seems to think that we have a single that needs a mate so we went ahead and picked that up all right I picked up these Tupperware pictures these are, just remind me of my childhood they have the little push down lid they're very very clean um <clears throat> so I'm going to try these on eBay and Etsy. This, the orange one is in great condition. This yellow one has just a little, I, I want to say it's probably was washed in the dishwasher and it got a little warmer. It got against one of the elements, but they were $1.99. So they were half price. So I paid a dollar a piece for these. So, um, 
I, I did look these up and they're selling between 10 and $12 on eBay. I don't know if I'll lot them together. I may lot them together. So we'll see, but I went ahead and picked them up. And you know, it's funny because I bought these and then we went to another yard sale afterwards and I saw a brown one there and I should have got it just to have a brown one as well. But now I'll probably see those everywhere I go because that's usually what happens. All right. I'll get the hard good things out of the way. But I got this really cool cutting board. Now I can see this being used as like a cheese board. Um, and I, I love cutting boards. I have kind of a cutting board collection. I'm going to keep this. I paid $3.99 for it, but it was half price and I can't get that off. I will get that off, but I'm just going to add this to my little collection over there. And I think it would be a nice cheese board for like a dinner party. I usually have dinner parties on New Year's Eve. So this will be used for that. All right. Puzzles. Now, my Goodwill doesn't always have games that are brand new in the packaging, but I did manage to find two puzzles that are still in the wrapping. Um, I pay. This is a White Mountain puzzle, which is a good brand. Pointing to the wrong side. White Mountain, which is a good brand to look for. And I paid 99 cents for this, and it was half price, so I paid 50 cents for it. Um, Ace Hardware tried to sell it for $18.99. And it is really pretty. It's just a, the old grist mill. And I haven't looked this up because I, I if, if a puzzle is brand new and it is still in the wrapping, it usually will do pretty well. So I, 50 cents. I mean, how can I not? This is a studio puzzle. I have not heard of this brand, but it is a bits and pieces puzzle. And it has this little bird with strawberry with a strawberry and blueberry basket um and again it was brand new sealed oh it's called blueberry bits and pieces william vander vander van dassen blueberry basket so there's the name of it so that will be easy to look up but it also it was 99 cents so i paid 50 cents for it so i threw those in my cart pretty fast Okay, I got three. My dad found these. So three of these uh, Syracuse China. These are restaurant wear bowls. Uh, and they were $1.99. So they were a dollar a piece. And this pattern is called Everglade. There's three of them. They're all exactly the same. So I'm just going to hold one of them up so I don't break them. But this pattern on the Syracuse China is called Everglade. And... Um, they were used in restaurants, you know, as serving bowls. Um, and this is a more of a desirable piece. The coloring on it is beautiful. So the Everglade, Everglade pattern, uh, Syracuse China, is made in the USA. These sell for about $19 a piece plus shipping. So there is a collector's market for restaurant wear, uh, depending on what the pattern is. Uh, just and just the, the regular white there still is a market for that, but the patterns tend to be a little bit more desirable. So this pattern is Everglade. Before, the nice thing about the restaurant wear is the quality of it. This is a quality, quality bowl. Um, and the reason it's used a lot, it's a utilitarian piece. So they would use this in restaurants uh, for serving pieces. And so they needed to be durable. Things that, I, well, I guess we're gonna move on to the clothing pieces. The only hat that I got from Goodwill on half price day, which was Saturday, um, I paid 50 cents for it because it was $1.99. And it is a legacy hat, um, which I don't know anything about. But it says Army Mom. And it's brand new with tags. So I thought that this would be a nice thing to, um, to throw up. It's obviously a woman's hat. It says a woman's hat. And it was $18.50 new. And it is licensed. So I got that for 50 cents. When my husband goes with me, we usually divide and conquer. And so he goes to the men's. Even though my favorite area to look at, to look through, is the men's clothing. I just like looking through the men's clothing better than the women's clothing. Because you can usually find better things. 
So he picked up this, I don't even know. See, I know nothing about sports. So it's Griffey, Ken Griffey? I don't know. Whoever Griffey is that played for, I believe, the Seattle Mariners. See, I, I at least know that. But this is a vintage 1997 NBA true fan sportswear. It's an extra large jersey. You can see on the date on the back here is the date. 19, what did I say? 19, Bella's going to bark. 1997. This is a year before my husband and I got married. So we paid $4.49 was half price. So I paid $2.25 for this shirt. Uh, and they sell for about $25 online. Hold it up a little bit. So, so we got that. Oh, my dog's going to continue to bark. Someone's probably walking. This is a vintage. And then the other one's going to start here in a minute too. CSC Sportswear. It's a size large, made in the USA, which is a sign that it's vintage. It is a vintage IU football jersey. Oh, I can hold it up here so you can see it fully. Um, this also was $4.49. We paid $2.25 for this. So we went ahead and picked this up. Couldn't really find comp. Was I not even recording? The next item that we found is this Harley Davidson t-shirt. It's just a pocket t-shirt. There's the front of it and the back. And what's nice about Harley Davidson is that they're usually below the graphics somewhere, they have a date. And so you can see on the bottom here, this one is dated 2009. And I do very well with Harley Davidson on Mercari. So, I mean, I will list this on all of my platforms other than Etsy. And uh, usually it will do pretty well on Mercari. All right, next item is this vintage Tommy Hilfiger. It was $4.49, but we paid half price. We paid $2.25 for it. And, and I liked the blue on the collar here because, again, not all vintage Tommy Hilfiger is the same. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't half price, but it is a size large. And it has the flag logo on the chest great condition no flaws so there's that all right next thing is the Stephen Berry's Ohio State jersey and it was a what size was this I believe it was a 2x yeah 2xl Ohio State and it's all embroidered and stitched there's the back of it Paid $2.25 for this. Next item, I don't know, my daughter may want this, but this was the first item that my husband actually found. And it was mixed in with the men's graphic t-shirts. So it is an Adidas track jacket. Um, it was $5.99, so we paid $3 for this. Here is the front. It's a much better color than the brown one. And this one is a Adidas Ultra Star. And it's got, it has some, a little, couple little spots on it that I will be able to get out. I'll use my grandma stain remover and it will come out, but the back of it's really nice too. It's got the Adidas logo on the back and it is a, in size extra large. So this was a great find. But that's it. That is my stuff. And so now I've already washed half of it, so I need to get the other half washed uh, and processed and listed. And it'll all start over again next weekend. Now, I am going to go to some sales on Friday. And I'm going to go to an auction on Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and get some footage and uh, post a haul video or a go to an auction, I guess, with me, with us video this weekend so i am and i will do a buy what sold video towards the end of the week last week was a decent week wasn't as good as the week before and you know people talk about the summer slowdown a lot i didn't experience the summer slowdown 
which is which is very fortunate. My highest profit month, I've been reselling for about a year now, and my highest um, profiting month the whole year last year was in July. So, I mean, it was even, it was more of a profit than even in November and December. So, uh, I think that the key is just to list, keep listing consistently. I mean, I know people who experience the summer slowdown still list consistently, but I don't know. We'll see how this year goes. So I'm hoping that this July will be just as profitable as last July, but, um, you know, the vintage things just, you just can't go wrong with it. I mean, you can, but I, I, the clothing is just, it keeps my store active, but where I make my money is, is selling vintage online. So vintage and collectibles online. So if you diversify a little bit and maybe don't just stick to clothing and try branching out a little bit into some vintage hard goods, then maybe you'll see a difference when it comes to summertime. People are always looking for things that they collect. So it's just a suggestion. So anyway, that's my video for this week. Well, for today, I'll be posting more during the week. Anyway, but please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be bringing you these crazy videos several times a week. So if it's something that you are interested in, then again, you're, you're in the right place. So my scatterbrain self will continue to entertain you and bring you some tips, tricks, and advice on finding things, especially vintage things, um, when you're out and about at yard sales, flea markets, auctions, estate sales, and all that. So anyway, until I see you again, have a great day.